guys, what is up? We are back today on Fixing It Up with Sandra um, to do Memorial Day reads. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff right here that's super cute. Um, in case you're new to my channel, my name is Sandra and I'm all about like learning things on a beginner level. No matter how many years you've been crafting, um, I just... I've been doing it for years and I just want to show people how to have fun to really just dive into your creativity and don't worry about mistakes or fails or any of the other stuff um, just to have fun. So today, like I said, we're going to be doing a deco mesh um, Memorial Day wreath, which could actually go for 4th of July. So if you want to use it for both occasions, go for it. Um, but I got a bunch of cute stuff here. I want to turn the camera around, show you what we're working with, and get started. As you can see here, we have all kinds of little goodies. Um, not everything is going to be used. I was, you know me, I never 1000% plan my wreaths out. So this is just kind of like what will look good, what will inspire me when we get to the decorating part. So, um, yeah, this is just how I work. The table's just full of stuff and we're just going to kind of wing it, but it's definitely going to come out cute. I mean, how can it not with all of these super cute decorations? All right. I look like I've been drugged through a knot hole backwards. Have you all ever heard the expression? My family, my grandparents were from the South. Um, because I went to go get some more deco mesh that I had tucked in a closet where I thought it was easy access. <laughs> I got caught on every single thing that was in there because I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I keep looking at me. <laughs> I, I wanted to get this. We're not going to use this today. I know. I don't know why I'm showing, but I had to. Um, I want to use this mesh because I want to do two Memorial Day reads. I want to do a farmhouse inspired. So that's what we're going to use this for. Today, today it's going to be all about sparkles, but, um, if you follow me, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, um, you can see the, the highlights because I recorded what was happening in that closet. Oh my God. So, um, yeah, I shared it in my stories, like what I just went through, but anyways, back to the wreath. Okay. I'm super excited. Okay. We are, I know I say, okay, a lot. We are using this wreath frame. This is the 14 inch from um, the Dollar Tree. Sorry, my, my brain is still left in the closet. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna be using the 14 inch uh, frame from the Dollar Tree. And today we're gonna try something a little different. Um, I don't know if this is a thing, but in my head I was like, okay, I want to use this really pretty shimmery, 10 inch by 30 foot mesh. I really want to use this. So I wanted to use this with these little rolls right here. So I wanted to kind of blend these together and I'm like, all right, how can I make this work? Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, even though I, and these are 5.5 um, inch rolls of mesh. Uh, 5.5. I know the Dollar Tree, they sell mesh and I want to say that those are six inches. So it's just a, a hair longer than this. But um, I'm still new to like different techniques, different styles. Um, sometimes I think I create my own style, but then, you know, there are a million people making reads. Um, so I'm sure I'm not the only one who has thought of this. But we're going to do the bow method, because that's the only way that I can think of blending these two together. And you'll see what I mean. Um, it's going to be really fun. I'm hoping like, again, in my mind, the way I have it, it should work. Um, it'll work. It'll work because, because I said so. <laughs> so anyway, so we're going to do that real fast. Um, this is a real fun, easy, in my opinion, wreath to make. Yes, there is cutting, but um, there's really not too much after that. You're just going to cut and then attach to your frame. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start cutting. And then, you know, as we get into the, as we start making the wreath, you'll see what I mean. Okay. 
So here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so I have this big rule right here, which is the 10 inch one. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six crossbars, which are these little bars that go across the wreath. There are six of them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut six large bows and attach one to each cross frame right here. Then in the middle, I'll do the smaller ones. Now, depending on how much this will fill up this wreath, I may or may not add a couple more onto this frame, but we're just gonna work, we're just gonna kind of um, do it as we go. So right now I'm just gonna kind of move this out of the way. We're still gonna cut with the same length, you know, obviously like the length this way, but obviously the width will be different. So I, for some reason, have just always really loved the 16 inch length. I just, for me on this kind of a frame, it just seems to work really well. So I'm just gonna stick with that. We're just gonna keep doing the 16 inches and you're just gonna go ahead and take your roller cutter or scissors and then just go to the 16 inch. And I've noticed that with this kind of material, see it's got like the sparkly stuff, you kind of have to press down a little bit harder on this. It's almost, for to me, I'm like, man, I should just use scissors. So, <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of people use a wood burning tool, but I have my animals in here, and from what I understand, that smell could be toxic to animals, and I'm assuming humans. <laughs> so, we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna go ahead and just, you know, brave it and um, do with our roller cutter. So what I have here are my, I have three pipe cleaners that I'm gonna cut in half. Oh, there they are. So I'm just gonna cut these in half. These are my favorite scissors. They're Weiss scissors. I will link them in the description box below. And what the bow method is, if you've never even heard of it, no worries, here's what it is. Okay, you're gonna take your piece just like this. I like to fold the edging under just, just to, you know, for looks, fold it under, have your palms down on that, you know, and then take your fingers and you're gonna start scrunching. You're just gonna scrunch, 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 and don't worry if it starts to twist and turn, it's okay. Flip this piece in, and then you will end up with something like this. So cute, oh my gosh. I love these sparkly colors, and I love that Memorial Day and 4th of July is all about like glitter and sparkle because as y'all know, glitter is my favorite color. I know some people are like, glitter is not a color. I don't care. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So what I'm going to do, okay, this crossbar right here, I'm going to take this and diagonal, okay, my, let me just do it and then turn it around. because so, so see how it's going across diagonally. I'm trying to say that word properly and then give it a good twist. Maybe it's, yeah. I'm just gonna give it some several good twists and then it's, it doesn't move either way. So again, what I did is I took, oh, there we go. I took that and then I wrapped it around these two bars. So these two bars get the wrap around like that, okay? And then it'll hold your bow in place. And you can either go ahead and trim this down if you want, Maybe we'll do that just so the, just trim that down right there. Bam. Now, we don't have to worry. Let me just bring this up a little bit. So we don't have to worry about the direction that our bow is facing in just yet because I haven't, even though I genu generally like it to go up and down and then kind of poof. Deco mesh is pretty durable. So um, you can kind of play around with it a bit. You can go like that, which is what we may do. I don't know, but what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna kind of work our way around. I did say we were gonna do six of them all the way around. I, we are definitely gonna do that. But I just wanna see how this looks before I cut all this mesh up. How will it look next to this big piece right here? So again, we're gonna go the length of 16 inches. I got this super cute oh, pff, roller cutter from the Dollar Tree. I, ooh. I've been using the same one for most of the videos and it is still sharp. Oh, I'm just cutting this foil, which doesn't seem to cut very well with my cutter. Um, 
and it's amazing. So if you see these at the Dollar Tree, invest. Um, I, I think it's well worth it. So we're gonna do the same technique, kind of fold it under, and then scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchies. All right, just as cute. Oh my gosh. So you're gonna take another one of your little halves and make a bow. So see the diff, and don't worry, bows look cute. Oh my God. Okay, so now, maybe do, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I'll wrap it around these two frames right, right here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and we're just going to wrap it around, give it a couple of twists. Yes, this will move around on your frame in the beginning. Once we start adding more pieces on here, um, it's, it's going to hold itself together. So you're not going to have to worry about it slip sliding all over the frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that down, kind of tuck that in so nobody gets hurt. So this is what we end up with, okay? So let's see. Ah, boy, I got that on there pretty good. It's not sliding very, okay, there we go. So will I do this? Just trying to figure out a pattern. Oh my, okay. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. Definitely, you know, work with, do it however you love it. Um, this is just what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the big bow, move it up and down. This little bow is going to go this way. Okay. Does that, does that make sense? So I'm going to do another one and I'm going to see how many I'm going to, and instead of just like trying to do both, I'm just going to go ahead and snip right here. And yeah, if your cut is not exactly 16 inches, don't worry. <laughs> it, it's, it's okay. Okay, there we go. And yes, the rib, see, and this is why I'm sure people use a um, wood burning tool. Because the like see like that like the little ribbon is coming out but I'm okay with that so again wrap it around both bars I'm just working on one section right now instead of like you know doing the six big pieces because I just want to see what we're working with and I want people to see that this is how you can make a wreath you don't have to have the whole thing figured out you don't have to have it all planned just wing it. Um, let seriously let your creativity just go. Don't worry. I mean, I think too much. I think too often. That's what I was trying to find that word. I think too often, too many people get in their own heads where they're like, okay, it has to, like this is what I planned, and when it doesn't come out the way that you planned. You know, we're like, man, that sucked. And we get, you know, we get bummed. And I don't want people to be bummed that it didn't come out perfectly the way that they had had it planned, as opposed to if they just wing it. I mean, have somewhat of an idea what you want to do, definitely. But if you wing it, then you're just like, oh my gosh, like, to me, you're always like excited about the outcome because you're like, you didn't, you weren't so dead set on how it had to look. Does that make sense? You know, that's why I think I'm always like happy with my stuff because although I definitely go to other YouTube pages, um, you know, seeing your creations and all of that, um, I definitely take all of that in for inspiration for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at Pinterest all the time, you know, I definitely take that all into consideration when I'm like, okay, what should I do or give me ideas? Um, because I am certainly not full of ideas. <laughs> I have to get inspired. And so, um, yeah, just don't be so hard on yourself and, you know, take inspiration, but then definitely just, just kind of let it go. Be Bob Ross, you know, paint little happy trees, you know, make little happy bows <laughs> and just have a good time. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put a put this bow, the big one, just like we did the original one you know, on the crossbar. And I am just gonna get a feel for, is this is this the pattern that we're gonna do? 
two tiny ones in the center, you know, bigger bows on the outside. Is this how it works? Ah. Things are sharp. Okay, remember I said I wanted to move this bow to where it's up and down. Kind of untuck it. Oh my gosh, okay, so yes. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> okay, so. Okay, I'm loving it. All right, y'all. How cute is this? What? All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of all rights and okays out of the way. So I think I'm still going to do one more little bow just to kind of give it more um, coverage when it comes to the, to the wreath frame. So we're going to do one more little bow. And we'll see how that comes out. And then we'll, then we'll know our pattern and we can just go ahead and complete the rest of the wreath. I love this. I wonder if this method is like annoying to any to like to anyone because it's like nails on a chalkboard having to scratch you know to like you know go like that scrunch your way up. I wonder because I know there are people that are like that where they're like I'm I can't nails on chalkboard heck no. Okay, so now, yep, I think this third one totally makes it. And if you are using like any kind of a sparkly pipe cleaner, I'm like you guys can't read my mind, um, sparkly pipe cleaner, I'm not going to cover the back because it just, I'm going to show it to you in just a second as soon as I get this all just so dolled up and so stinking cute. Look at that. You would have thought I was a professional, right? <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm talking about. See how, can you see? See how, because I'm using the red sparkly one, like it just kind of like goes together. So I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna cover it. But we just created a new pattern. Watch, this is gonna be like called a something. <laughs> You're like, Sandra, you didn't create that. That's called the, the Deborah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what ifs? I'm having fun. All right. Hey, baby, baby, baby. So we're just gonna go ahead and I've already done two, so there's a total of six, right? One, two, three. I'm trying to get much better at like, you know, okay, like the math part of everything. You know, I know there's six. For as many reads as I have made, Obviously, the tutorials you see, I still have to count how many crossbars are on, that are on, excuse me, the 14 inch frame. I'm always still like, is, is it six, eight, seven, what? I act like I never made a wreath before. But that's okay. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. Maybe we'll do this technique again with something else. I'm still dying to do my mermaid wreath. Oh my goodness. Like this one, my mermaid wreath, I'm legit planning. Um, because this one is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be so fantabulous. I cannot wait to do it. So five, one more, okay. And so because these are the bigger pieces. I'm gonna wait to do these last. And we're gonna go ahead and just fill in the center with three um, of our, this one right here. We're gonna do three, so this will be. And again, we're still cutting them at 16 inches, okay? And we're definitely gonna decorate this. Does this go, oh no. I don't know if it's just the mat or what, but it's so much nicer when you can just 
cut them straight across. Um, we're not going to add ribbon, but I got a bunch of little doodads that my friend got me from the, what is it called? The uh, Restore. It's the Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's the Habitat for Humanity, um, I guess you can call it thrift store. It has, and from what I've been told, not every Habitat for Humanity store has crafting products, but the one that we have, well, I say it's, we have, it's an hour and a half away. It, um, it carries crafting stuff. That's where I got all this for a fraction of the cost. So, um, I have some little trinkets that we're going to be adding on from, that we got from there. I've got some like cute stuff from the dollar store, all kinds of fun stuff. This is going to be, it's going to be like a firework of a wreath because it's just going to be exploding in like, um, decorations and I don't care how gaudy it is. I think this is definitely one that I'm going to keep. I don't want to sell this one. <laughs> so I want to make it just over the top when it comes to like putting trinkets on it. And I have not been to Michael's. I don't even want to say how long it's been, but it's definitely been over a month. But the last time I was there, I bought a ridiculous amount of goodies. So I haven't had the need to. And again, it's 45 minutes away from me. It's in the other town. And so, um, but at least I get to drive past three different or two different lakes. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the drive. It's a very beautiful scenic drive, but um, I haven't been there in forever. So we're, you know, I mean, I'm just going to keep cutting, but I bet there's like all kinds of like beautiful things for reeds available. And I have to see if I have a coupon. So, alrighty. Oh, since I'm doing this right now, did y'all know that my channel now offers memberships? What? Yes, yes, yes. So my channel offers membership, offers a membership, a what right now. I didn't want to get in over my head. So what I'm doing is that I'm offering a membership to those who would love to join. It's called Fixin' It Together, <laughs> right? And so um, what it is is that we, I want to build more one-on-one -on -one, um, time with you guys. I really want to like, I want to be friends, like <laughs> seriously. <laughs> and, you know, really connect with you guys. And so what you'll be able to do is in the membership platform, you will be able to ask questions and um, I will answer them in video form directly to you. Other members will be able to see it. Um, it's really such a cool thing. And then of course, you know, as the memberships grow, I will be doing more and more things. Like it's, I have so many ideas. I just, I'm so excited, but I thought, I figured, don't bite off more than you can chew because I really, my goal is always to 100% deliver um, as best as I can to you guys at all times, whatever it is. Um, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, I could commit to this and it, yeah. So anyways, so yes, you guys gonna be able to submit questions. You guys are gonna get access to badges and emojis that I created to use in chats and to share with each other. It's just gonna be, freaking amazing. And if you guys are interested, I can either send you the link or if you are on a desktop computer, there will be a join button right where, um, right where it says like subscribe, I believe. And it's in the community forum. And I also have a few community posts and you can just click on that and then join. Um, it is $4.99 a month, but I promise it's going to be worth it. It's going to be so fantastic. <sighs> I get to do what I love. I'm just like, I'm not going to cry. Uh, <laughs> so I super appreciate all of you guys um, for wanting to be members. Who's that? Um, for those who want to. And guess what? If you don't, no worries. Guess what? We're still going to be besties because all of the content that you are seeing right now, like, and live chats and stuff like that, we, I'm still going to do, you know, um, this is just, if you want like more, um, you want more uh, exclusive uh, access to me and to different content, 
but I'm still, the still, no, the channel's still going to be fabulous. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you're interested, just let me know. Just let a girl know. Um, but I just want to say, you know, without you guys, I couldn't even have done this. Like without the subscribers that you guys are like what you're doing right now, I, this couldn't be possible. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are truly making my dreams come true. I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. So I just wanted to say that. Thank you. Um, anyways, so let's get back to wreath making. Um, I've already, as you can see, cut a ton of that. And we're now going to go ahead and adhere this stuff to the wreath frame. So this was our, this is our formula right here. So we're going to go ahead and I've got, I'm just going to go ahead and put these three together. It just makes it easy. And I love this kind of stuff. It's like, this kind of wreath making, you can just grab a chair, sit down and just scrunch all of this up and just throw it into a pile on the floor. And then when you're ready, attach it to the frame. So it's kind of like, you know, like mindlessly eating chips, in my opinion. You're just like, okay, next. And then you're just like a little, and then you're ready. So remember, we're gonna wrap it around. When we put our little piece on there, we're gonna wrap it around two of the bars, okay? And of course, if you want to do it in different directions, you want to add more, like if you're doing, if you're doing what I'm doing right here and you're like, you know what? I don't like three. I want four. Go for it. This is just my way of giving you maybe like a little foundation to try something new. Um, this is not set in stone. So, and as you can see, I roughly made this up. So feel free to take this, you know, idea and play with it and make it your own. So we're gonna do another two right here. Uh, my nose has been right, oh, allergies, I wonder. I don't have allergies, but I wonder if something is bugging me. I just, <laughs> the dog is like in her, in a, I still have the comforter. Um, if you, I did a, did I do a video yesterday? Anyways, I did something yesterday where I like showed off the dog like on the in the comforter on the floor because she's so cold and so cute. But she's like actually covered up. She's like, I'm always amazed because my cats don't seem to do it, but like a dog knows how to cover themselves up, which I think is adorable. All right, we got the. I'm just trying to twist it to make sure that it's in the right direction, and then add the third one. and so on and so forth. Part of me, sometimes I'm like, you know what, should I just go ahead and stop the video and then just complete the wreath and then pop back on here? But I'm still getting so many um, thank yous from beginners who are like, you know, thank you for showing everything, not just, you know, jumping, you know, ahead 15, 20 minutes. And so, I think I'm just going to keep going, but you know, for those who are like, okay, we get the point. We see what you're doing. Um, you guys can jump ahead because I, I'm still so like, I really want everybody to learn how to do this, you know, for, for, for beginners, because I have said it a thousand times before when I was looking for, for tutorials, I'm like, teach it to me. Like I'm a five-year-old take me step by step because that's just how my brain works. I'm like, okay, I need to see it. Show me up close. What are we doing? You know, but that's what I am here to do for you guys. And when I say teach me like a five-year-old, no, that's not a bad thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't frown upon that stuff. That's my favorite, my favorite way to learn. <laughs> okay. Now, ugh, I just am so excited with how this is turning out. All right. And even with, you know, like not having like big poops or anything like that, look at that. You know, yes, is the frame visible in certain sections? Because 
I've said it before in my other video, you know, like the frame you would thought was like the kiss of death. If you saw the frame, you're like, oh, well then I didn't make a, a good wreath because you can see the frame. And I have slowly learned that maybe it's not the kiss of death, <laughs> that it's to be expected because it is in fact on a frame. <laughs> so um, we can always, that's when you can start adding in things and not be so worried about it when you're at this point. But you know, hand to the man upstairs. You know, I used to, when I saw the wreath frame, I'm like, okay, I'm not doing something right. And I, that was like my, probably one of my biggest all time stressors. My first six months to a year making a, a, a wreath. I'm like, okay, I don't know what I'm not, what I'm doing wrong. And just, you know, over time, or do, what am I doing wrong? Not what I'm not doing. But um, I just got over it over time and just realized, okay, when I start adding pieces like to it, and like I said, it's not the kiss of death. I'm just gonna go ahead since I'm on a roll right now and keep doing this. I have like this weird, like I have to make sure that they're all in perfect length before I cut. Okay. And, oh, I do want to say, like, at some point, I do want to make a wreath live. Yes, I will ahead of time be like, hey, grab these materials. You know, and it doesn't have to be, um, I'm not going to worry about color. We'll just say, you know, grab, you know, a 10-inch roll of your favorite color. Grab this kind of a frame. And this is what we're going to be working with. Or, you know, but I will let you know what I'm using in case you want to make the exact same wreath. Um, but I think that that would be so much fun. I've talked about it um, before. It's just, I have to feel confident enough to be able to actually make the wreath and, and talk to you guys and answer your questions during the video. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, do I feel confident yet? So that is, if people are like, I thought, you know, you were going to do that sooner. I promise. I just can't. I always want to have the best intentions when I do anything. So I have to make sure that I am confident enough because it's one thing when I'm sitting here by myself and the only person listening is the dog and the cat, but it's a whole nother thing when you got people, you know, talking to you right then, right there waiting for an answer. And you're just like, ah, I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then what if I don't know the answer to one of your questions? Oh my gosh. I think I would probably just like, secretly start crying under the table. <laughs> so yes, very soon. Um, and that's also maybe going to be like a thing for the membership, like where um, maybe once a week, because I try to make a wreath once a week. So I think that might be a thing. Um, just stay tuned. And of course, always go to the community page. So when you are on my YouTube page, when you're looking at my front page where it says like, you know, videos, playlist, there is a tab that says community. And that's where I leave posts for all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm getting better at doing more posting. Um, but yeah, that's where you're going to start seeing a lot of stuff. So, you know, I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm starting to get scheduled and, you know, better with everything. So it's all you can ask. Be better than yesterday. All right. So I've got enough right here gathered to where I can start attaching them. So we're going to go ahead, of course, repeat the process. And... I may or may not twist them into place until like the very end because then I can just go through and just really fast do that. We'll see. I'm just, I keep glancing over at all of this cute fun stuff that I got to attach to the wreath. And I'm like, okay, I cannot, that's my favorite part. I can't wait to get to that, all the goody stuff. And like I said, I haven't been to Michael's, so I'm assuming that this kind of stuff is there. And I think at the Dollar Tree, they've got some of this stuff out right now. Um, I know there's a bunch of graduation, graduation stuff. And of course, congratulations to all of the graduates, college, high school, whatever. 
Um, congratulations. Okay, there we go. And then now a big one. I'm so happy that this is working out. The way, like this little method that I, that I believe that I dreamt up. <laughs> so, it is, so I get a lot of people asking me where I'm at. No, I'm not, you know, stranger danger. I'm not worried about that. But I live in Northern California, which is stunning to say the least. It is so gorgeous up here. And it is freezing today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Somebody's gonna lie. It's 65 degrees. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have my sweats on. I have the heater on in the house. I'm like, oh my gosh, is it winter all over again? So <laughs> I was just thinking about it because I can see the trees just blowing pretty or they're moving around pretty hard. And so I'm like, man. I thought summer was almost here, but no, we're still in the midst of spring and uh, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> so, but yeah, I get a lot of people asking, where are you from? I am from Northern Cali. I'm a California girl. All right. It's really fun when you have these already kind of done, like prepped ahead because man, it just makes to me, I know you guys are watching it, um, but to me it makes it go by so much faster. Even though it does take time to prep, this part of it just, you're just like, wow, look at that. And of course, like I said, these can be used for the 4th of July as well. I do have plans to make a 4th of July one and this one, we're gonna get big. We're gonna use one of those giant frames. I bought a couple during Christmas time and I made one giant um, Christmas wreath. Oh my God, I was, I was so in love with it. <laughs> I was, it's just overly large, but I didn't, I don't care. I, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so, anyways. We're going to do that for the 4th of July because I know for the 4th of July, we like to decorate. And I say we here at the house, we like to decorate. We're always decorating for every holiday. And so um, we're definitely going to be doing a giant wreath for that, for the 4th of July. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm like, cue the Jeopardy theme song now. <laughs> and this is where I'm like, if I was doing this live, I could ask you guys questions and, you know, do, do some one-on-one -on -one hangout time. So, okay, there we go. We have two sections left. Okay, so we're just about done. And I think I actually cut enough of these. Did I? Okay, I think I might still need to wrap up or do a few more of these. Okay, one, just slide that baby over. And do this. I wonder for you beginners, I would love to know how, what you guys thought of this method. Did this one seem relatively easy for you guys? Um, you know, of course, am I explaining it well? All of those things, because I wanna make sure that you guys are learning with these tutorials. And as you see, I stopped, you know, doing the cutting process because I can actually do that off camera. I don't think anybody wants to sit through watching me cut the zip ties. That's not a, that's not a necessity when it comes to wreath making. So, all right. I just, in my head, like the final countdown, that song just played in my head because we're actually on the final bar. So I'm going to make sure that my glue gun is heating up and 
I really, really just have come to like this. And so if this is in fact a, a thing, like if this kind of a pattern is what people do out there, um, in the, in the re wreath making world, I would love to know <laughs> if anybody else has done this style. So, yes. Oh, look at, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, overjoyed. Overjoyed. Okay, so I need to make two more and then let's get that glue gun heated up and let's start the embellishment. My favorite part right here. Okay, one. Oh, look at that. I, I, oh, no, I overcut. Because I'm like, how did I cut just the right amount? Okay, I need two more. So I just need this. Oh, oh that was way off. <laughs> Try not to cut my little bow. All right, y'all. It's the final countdown. Now that song is playing over and over in my head. Alrighty, alrighty. Uno mas. Yay, we did it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so now it's time to spread out these bows. I have been since, but now I want to make sure that they are in fact the right way. I don't want to get too excited and not twist these ones. There we go. There we go. All right, let's do a shut up. Oh my God, I just love this. It is so cute. Look at this. Oh. See what happens when you, when you just think outside the box? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right. So let's, my glue gun is heated up and I have, okay, so I have a couple of signs. Now, like I said, I don't even, you can't see me. So like I said, um, I do have, we are going to do a really big wreath when it comes to the 4th of July and maybe um, with my other one. I do have a couple of signs. I'm just trying to think of like what would work best for this one. So I do have this one that they had at the dollar store. Let me grab this other one that I have hanging up on the wall. And maybe that might be a little bit smaller for our project. And it's a metal one. Okay, let's lay this all down. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna work with the smaller one. It does have a welcome. We're gonna take that off. But look at that. Okay, so I want to show you in comparison to the size. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> That's a big difference. So let me go ahead and pull this off of. I know I have pliers somewhere. Let me go ahead and pull this off of the frame. And if people are like, you know, can we use the bigger one? Most definitely. Most definitely. See, that's why I love these scissors. I'm just couldn't find my pliers and these scissors work just perfectly. Um, 
Yes, this is just my, I'm only doing this because I know that I'm gonna be working with a bigger wreath frame at some point in time, or not at some point in time, for 4th of July. So I'm not, um, I don't wanna use my bigger stuff because I'm gonna need something really big for that wreath. So, oh, and that is one's so tiny. Look okay. it. Look it. See what I mean? I could put this on the bigger wreath um, like as a little accent piece, but um, I don't know. I'm just going to use this bigger one for that one. So anyways, camera down. Let's decorate. All right, so here's what we got. How about, you know what? Sometimes I wish I had the ability to do like a pointing down view where you guys can see, but um, that's not how it works with at Casa de la Sandra. <laughs> so <laughs> this is, this is, I'm trying to do like my, what I can. All right. Yeah. So this, ha, ah, there we go. So here's this. Um, I do have a couple of these little cutesy pieces right here. I probably will buy more for the bigger one um, because I just love this kind of glitter stuff. It's right up my alley. We're going to put these picks throughout the wreath and I'm just going to go ahead and you know, lay a couple of, of them on here um, because I don't know how many I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use two of each color. I think that just works really well. And this is not the 100% um, placement of all of these. This is just kind of where I'm putting them for right now. So we're going to do... Okay, so we're gonna do like this, maybe like that, and then like that, and then like, wait, like that, like that. Alrighty. Just kind of playing around, seeing where things are gonna go. All right, like that. I do have, now, if these are not out at the Dollar Tree yet, don't worry, I bought these last year. Um, so don't worry if you're not seeing them right now, It's it's, just something that I randomly had. We are most definitely adding a bunch of stars to this without a doubt. And we're gonna add a little flag. Okay, I'm trying to look to see what else is on my table that I could add. Maybe, okay, so I have one, I have one more of each of these little things right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add those on too. Cause remember I said, we're gonna get, we're gonna get wild with all of the glitter stuff. Ah, goodness, okay. There we go. And then I have my flag. Oh, that was supposed, okay. So typically, like when you get these little flags from the Dollar Tree, sometimes they aren't in the best condition. So you have to uh, do your own little, you know, touch-ups. So, okay, here's what we're going to work with. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to add some more of these. I'm going to get all of this kind of cleared out of the way. And we're going to start adding. All right, with these picks... We're just gonna kind of tuck them down through here and we're just gonna glue a little bit of glue onto the stem like this. Oop, make sure not to drip it on anything else, okay. And then uh, just tuck it down in between the mesh. And then just hold it there for just a few. Now, I have said before, it is a whole different thing when you are working with your wreath laying down and then you go to pick it up and then everything's like, eh, it just falls over, okay? I have had that happen a thousand times to me. So I am actually going to pick my wreath up. I think I wanna pick my wreath up and then decorate it like that. So I am gonna find my wreath frame. I encourage everyone to get at least one wreath frame if you can, um, they are, oh, they are about $5 at Michael's. 
I have no idea how much they cost everywhere else. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna bring over my little table so I can do that. And um, you don't, or they are, they're rarely on sale, so you can use your coupon. Okay, I am doing this real fast, and then of course I'm gonna, you know, adjust the camera to, oh, and I wanna show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hold on, let me adjust the case. Okay, so here we have this super cute little thing, perfect on here. When you go to stand it up, this is what can happen. It can fall forward, it can be all kinds of, it could go all kinds of ways, okay? That is another reason why I'm gonna, and this will be actually easier for you guys to watch how I'm gonna decorate this. This makes it a lot easier when you are working with this. Let me get the trash out of your vision. <laughs> and so you can see how this is gonna lay. So I see this. Now I'm actually gonna put a little bit more glue to where it attaches right there. Do you see where I'm at? All right, let me bring my glue gun over. Cause I have done this a million times. Oh, my glue gun's not gonna reach. One second. I have done this a million times where I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks incredible laying down. And then I go to pick it up and I'm like, so what happened? <laughs> you know? So I'm just gonna do a little bit of glue back there. And then we're just gonna kind of adhere it to that. And this will keep it standing up straight. Do you see that? Those are all the wax melts right there that I've made for the uh, <laughs> farmer's market that I'm going to be doing this Saturday. I'm so excited. Um, all right, so now I want to place, I have three of these. So I'm going to place one right there and one right there. Again, we're going to kind of weave it through the mesh. All right. And yeah, this is like the quiet part right here. And of course, that's a heavy piece, so I'm gonna have to attach it right there. Okay. This is the only part that I'm like really just like all right, I want to make sure that it looks still just as good when um, you pick it up. And to kind of hide that stick, we're going to put a bow right there. See, there's all kinds of fun ways to, you know, to cover up, you know, little things that we don't want to see. I was almost going to blow on this, but that's not going to work. There it goes. All right. I wish I had, well, the stars. The stars are gonna be like the last thing that we're gonna put on here because um, that's just gonna go everywhere. There's, these are the ones that I only have so many things and this is where I'm like, okay, where's the placement gonna go? I think that'll stick. Oop. And then we'll do one more. Oh, is my bow coming up? All right, I think we're good. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's gonna stay. <laughs> of do it a little I don't want to say uneven but just indifferent you know I don't want to do it in the exact same way there now I can lay this wreath down so I don't have to wait for so much of 
spending so much time watching it just like trying to dry. Okay, let me just back this up. That's really going down now. Where are we gonna add? Our track. Yeah. And let gravity do its thing. Push that down. We've got some more, oh, no, I don't want that there. We'll do the white one right here. These little ones will not be as hard to um, keep up here because they're not gonna be, they're not as heavy as those other ones. Ah. Look at that, it already got caught. I, who else is like a huge fan of like Christmas picks? These are picks right here, just in case, for those who are newbies, those are, those are picks. Um, I'm obsessed and I collect them because I just think they're just so stinking cute. I use them all over my Christmas wreaths, which I cannot wait to um, do this year, especially now that I'm getting so much practice with all of you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, my poor little doggie. She's, she's trying to get comfortable. Um, I'm gonna trim that off. And we're gonna do now let's do an explosion right there. Perfect. I know this is more this is like I unfortunately like I get so lost. I have to remember, Sandra, people are watching you, you're not talking. And what I'm also going to do is use the stars to hide where some of the picks, the, the pick sticks are. So like, we're just going to lay this down like right there. And let me show you. So like it's right on top of that stick. So you're not going to see it too much. It's going to kind of be hiding. Here's what we got going on. Like I told you, big, gaudy is what we're going for. This is the fun part when I start adding the stars because I'm literally going to use every single star that I have. Okay, this is so much fun. I hope that they have these things already in the Dollar Tree. I haven't been in a couple of days, but I want to get more of these for sure. And okay, I have two more picks to put in. I'm trying to figure out where. And then one more pick right here and I think we've got it all in here there we go so much fun oh need more glue okay so I want people to know that if you see a whole bunch of decorations and you're like I don't know if it'll look good on my wreath all of that other fun stuff do it Get super into decorating your wreath, especially for this one. Like I said, I love using all of these things. So cute. And this is for me. So <laughs> we're gonna get really, really, how cute is this? really gonna have fun okay let's stand it up I'm gonna kind of give it a minute before um, I pick this up I've done that before and then like half the things have fallen off see <laughs> I'm 
Or maybe that just came in. Okay, let's get that piece glued on right there. So I have maybe, just thinking, I know I have, you know, let me add another bow. I have, it just came in a two pack, so let's, okay, where is this other bow going to go? You know what? What the heck? Let's put it right there. Oh, you guys are <laughs> completely out of seat. Oh my gosh. I was getting so into decorating this. Okay. Now is it going to hold up? Just got to hold this. All right, guys. I know. Arm across the whole entire wreath. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just waiting for this little thing to. But what do y'all think? I am like so in love. There you go. And look, we didn't even have a plan when we started this. And this is how it's coming out. Super cute. And look, at we have no ribbon on this whatsoever. It's just doodads and cool little stars. Let's get this bad boy on a frame and let's see what this looks like. Okay, there she is. Little stars. We've got the bow, we've got the picks, we've got the little truck. I love it. We may or may not put the welcome sign on there, maybe in the middle, I don't know. I'm just thinking it's so adorable. I love everything about it. Love it. Wait till I get up on like the back of a wall or something and then you guys can really see this. It's gonna be so cute. All right, everyone, what do y'all think? I love my wreath. <laughs> Jeez, this is <laughs> I love it. It's so stinking cute. And yes, it's gaudy. It's big. I know that. But we learned a different a different technique today um, because I have not shared that kind of technique or, or um, know that it could work. But um, I hope you guys see that and that you guys can, you know, dig in your closets wherever you keep all your deco mesh and know that you guys can mix and match. It doesn't have to be all the same. I know that's something again that I thought about when I was making wreaths for the very first time that like everything had to be perfect. Um, but as you can see, we can take small rolls and mix it with big rolls and it all still works out just perfectly. So um, that is, that is the Memorial Day wreath. Yay, a round of applause, right? Um, well, thank you guys again so much for watching this tutorial. I super appreciate it. Of course, if you found it helpful and all that other fun stuff, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're liking me and all the content that I'm providing, please subscribe. Um, hit the subscription button. It costs nothing. But if y'all want to be members, oh my gosh, it's a new thing. I will be putting the link in the description box or you can head over to the computer. Or you can head over to the community forum on my YouTube channel. It says community. Click on that tab. You'll find um, the link to that. If you're like on an iPhone or Android, it doesn't always show up that join button. So that's why I'm doing a bunch of posts to kind of show you what I, where you guys can join um, if you like to be a member. And there's all kinds of fun perks. I talk about it over there. Um, so just if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, but yeah, just head on over there and, and um, you'll see there's a, a video all about the membership. Um, but yeah, share again, share this video with your friends. I think this is a really fun video for kids too, to really get into the holiday spirit. Um, to do something fun like this 
And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm really just trying to give you all the content that you're loving. And um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys. Oh, before I forget, hit that notification bell because I upload videos all the random time. So you don't want to miss one. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me on this uh, wreath memorial wreath making tutorial. And I will see you guys again in my next video. See ya.